Well, good morning, my friends. I hope everyone is well this morning and ready to try another little experiment. Uh, yesterday, uh, I had a, an eye appointment, and uh, it, it, when I come home, I'm dilated and I can't see anything, and I, I'm just uh, dizzy. So uh, I was trying to do some things that were not too um, exerting, and I thought about these two little shoe boxes that I started uh, back in December. And uh, as I watched the last ones, um, last video that I did, I had taken them and each one produced a big canful of castings. So I was pleased. And I decided that what I was going to do was to clean them out and take all of that duct tape off because it looked horrible. And I had some electrical tape, so I thought, well, you know, let me try to make this a little bit neater. And so I did. This looks much better. It's not professional, but it certainly looks much better. And I used that same netting that I had before. But here's the interesting part. Let me just ease that one up there and I went ahead and I took some uh, worm leachate and I soaked my uh, shred shredded paper this is actually shredded cardboard and uh, did it to the point where it's just reach over here and it's it's moist and I'm not going to stand around and squeeze it or anything but you can see that it's really well saturated so, and just to the saturation point, I didn't want to do anything more than that. Uh, so I went ahead and set up a bin. This is now uh, some of the cast, I'm um, sorry, um, the cardboard shred. And I have uh, coffee grounds, about, oh, mm, let's say about a cup and a half, two cups of coffee grounds uh, that, that's used, you know, and we're recycling it. And it's, um, still moist and these are banana peels just took sections of it and also on top of this is um, uh, eggshell excuse me just one minute <coughs> excuse me eggshell and some ground um, Quaker oats and so that made that little pulverized on top so now all I have to do is pull a hundred worms from one of my probably the meals on wheels i will take some of those i don't know if it's going to be a hundred or what it's going to be but here's my experiment and i thought this was just fascinating how many people out there that get those uh, peanuts that uh, are packing peanuts uh, there's different types one is the type that uh, the old the old type that was a styrofoam that you know, they put it heat and it, it kind of popped up and, and blew up in size. And the other is one that's, I think it's called a, ce a cellulose base. And that's what I seem to be getting. So I saved them and I thought, you know, I've told you I'd love to do a, a series called, gee, I used to throw that out. So here I put, instead of putting, um, you can see how this is, Sunk, sunken down over overnight and that was just about I I only filled this one really it, it hasn't gone down much but now this one I put these packing peanuts in and they were probably about four or five times the size at probably 12 15 hours ago something like that, and the whole thing was just to the top. It was it was humped over. And the only thing that I added to it was just, as you can see, I mean, just, yeah, you can see I added just very little of this material and the uh, coffee grounds, which were, again, damp. So I just put that on top of it and, uh, and this is, like I said, less than 24 hours. And you can see that, that most of those have just disintegrated into nothing, almost. I'm sure if they were even, oh my, I mean, there's, there's, look at how few. 
I mean, you wouldn't even think there was evidence that it was there. Let's see if you get down to the bottom, because that's, they were really packed in there. Some of this white is still, still this, but you can, it feels spongy, uh, whereas it felt a little harder when it was put in there. So, uh, you know, packing peanuts uh, could be something that we could put in our uh, compost and put in our uh, worm bins as well. And so um, I'm not going to take this any further today other than to tell you that um, I'm probably going to put a little bit more uh, of the shredded cardboard and maybe some more coffee grounds and then do something like that and maybe uh, put cocoons in one side and then the, the smaller worms in the other and see how that works again because I'll tell you what, if every two months, two and a half months, I could harvest a big can of uh, coffee can full of uh, castings, I would be thrilled because that would be just an extra source of um, black gold for me. And I am trying to uh, keep my juicy fruit lane going. I'm actually looking and, and it's just been a a few days, five days since I planted everything, and they've already, the tomatoes look much bigger and marigolds look much bigger, so I'm thrilled. Anyway, um, I will will stop it there and uh, say to everyone, have a great day, and if you get a chance to do something like this, this was great fun and uh, kept me out of the trouble. And you can see I have my little screens here the whole way along. So these worms are going to get plenty of uh, airflow in here, whoever I put in, but I promise to show you. So I hope you'll subscribe and come back and ring the bell and come see me again. Talk to you all soon. Remember, garden what you've got. Bye-bye.